The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny and very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently we have all the U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. The Dow's off 170 points. The uh, Nasdaq off 72. The S&P off 21. The e and Russell down 18. That's leading the charge to the downside off nearly 1%. You've got uh, gold off 8 bucks, silver down 20 cents out here. Light sweet crude, she's trading out at uh, 92.38. That's up uh, 2 bucks. And the 30-year Treasury trade off uh, one point and 12 30 seconds trade out at 153.17 so tell you what we're going to do here first we're going to switch from this slide uh, because we did record today's show between eight and nine we were focused on the 30 minute time frame charts and the daily charts for the equity future contracts the reason we began focusing on the 30 minute charts was because of the td9 count bottoms that had formed those td9 count bottoms they formed uniformly for all four equity future contracts but all price did was moved up to that red oscillator and change line now you do that, that's a bearish signal, says you're going to go back and test support. Well, in the case of the ES and the NQ, they closed below those TD9 counts. So that level of support has failed. We have a different message here when we take a look at the uh, YM, the Dow Equity Future Contract, and the Russell 2000. At least at this moment, or at least the bar that closed at 9 o'clock, held those TD9 count bottoms. So we've got a message or a market that is a bit confused out here. Let's try to end the confusion. And the way we'll end the confusion is we'll switch over to the daily time frame charts. So momentarily, what we'll have pop up on our screen, is that the screen? No, I think it's this one right here. There we go on the daily time frame. The NQ is the one that's going to be the uh, little booger out here. Yesterday, now I don't know where where it's going to close. And the question is, is it going to hold 14,484? That's the center of its bearish structure daily profile. Because price had closed above that for two consecutive sessions and then pulled back and found support there yesterday. If it does find support there again today, it's telling us that this move lower is just a counter trend move. But if it remains below 14,484, the signal is, and because it, it's trading back inside the January 24th low, that you should see a B line for 13900 In the case of the S&P 500, the ES Mini, that would be a beeline to about 4396 And inside the YM, that beeline would take us to about 34466 So that's what's going on in the markets. That's your, that's your up-to-the-minute update out there. But stay tuned. You're going to get up-to-the-minute updates all day long here at TFNN. Tommy O'Brien with the uh, Morning Market Kickoff is up next. Have a fantastic Friday, folks. Thanks so much for being here the entire week.